Hey guys, today we are solving all your problems. I get so many emails from you guys. Thank you, they're my favorite part of my day. Asking about what you should bring to a summer potluck, a barbecue, something that travels well, and I am going to solve all your problems with this sesame noodle salad. It's really easy. It's like a room temperature to cold pasta dish. You are going to love it. Let's get into it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is boil off some linguine. You could use rice noodles, you could use spaghetti, you could use bucatini, whatever kind of pasta is in your pantry. If I showed you the pasta section in my pantry, you would judge me, it's aggressive. I like carbs. Anyways, we are just going to break it into two, pop it in, and this is just gonna cook until it's kind of al dente, about eight to nine minutes. Give that a quick stir so nothing sticks together. So next we're gonna make our dressing, which is very important because it's where all the flavor comes from. We're gonna add a lot of vegetables, which will add a lot of crunch and color, but the bulk of the flavor is coming from this dressing. So we're gonna slice two limes and just juice those right into a bowl. Also, you wanna know something that Thomas, I just taught my husband the other day. He always used to put it in like this and juice it which is wrong, you should turn it in like that because then the juice just goes straight through the holes at the bottom into whatever container you're juicing into. Tips of the trade. Okay, so we've got our limes in there. Next, we're gonna do a third a cup of olive oil. We'll just measure that out and drop it in. And then equal parts soy sauce. So we're not gonna have to add a lot of salt to this because all the salt's coming from the soy sauce. We'll measure out a third a cup of that. All right, so olive oil's in, soy sauce is in, the lime juice is in. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of sesame oil, three tablespoons to be exact. Don't tell Thomas, he thinks he doesn't like sesame oil, but I just like to put it in things and then pretend it never happened. All right, and then we're gonna put in a little bit of brown sugar. Just give it a hint of sweetness. And then we've got some garlic and ginger and four the garlic, I want it to be really finely minced, so I'm just gonna run it through my garlic press, which is the best thing I've basically ever owned. Just pop it in there, and squeeze it out. All right, and the last part of this dressing is some ginger. So here's a trick. A lot of, you have to peel this ginger, and when you peel it by cutting off some of it, you waste all that ginger in there. So here's how I do it. This is what we learned in culinary school. You just take the sharp part of your, a spoon, I almost called this a fork, and just scrape off the skin just like that. That way, you literally, if you look, like there's no good, there's none of the usable ginger on there, so you're not wasting anything, because ginger is expensive. And now that we have a clean side, we're just gonna grate the ginger, a couple tablespoons right into the sauce. You can see it just coming off at the other end of my zester. Okay. Let's give this a stir. We'll just kind of whisk it all together. Mmm, it doesn't even need salt, it's perfect. All right, we're gonna put this aside, check on the pasta, and prep our veggies. All right, the noodles are almost done. We're just gonna let them keep cooking. Meanwhile, we're gonna prep all these colorful vegetables. So. We have some Napa cabbage and some red cabbage. You could use either or, both, green cabbage, whatever you have at your grocery store is totally fine. We're just gonna really thinly slice it up. And cabbage goes a long way, so you definitely don't need to use the whole thing. Just probably a cup or two of the Napa cabbage. And then we'll do the same thing for the red cabbage. And what I'm probably gonna do, well actually it is what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna cut off a cheek and then slice that because I think that's a lot easier than trying to handle the whole thing. Okay, and once those are shredded, we're just gonna put them into the bottom of our serving bowl. Everything will go in here towards the end. So we'll just start piling it up. And then we're gonna do some bell peppers, any color you want. I'm taking a shortcut from the store and using already shredded carrots because that's how I roll. We'll put a handful of carrots in here, give it some fun color. And then we're gonna keep slicing and dicing our veggies. So we'll have some red bell pepper 
and some yellow bell pepper. Easily, this is gonna be the most colorful pasta salad you've ever had in your life. And then we've just washed these green onions, so I'm gonna trim the ends off. And then instead of just giving them a, like a really thin slice, what I normally do, I'm gonna cut them on the bias so they're a little bit bigger. Just like that. And cutting on the bias means you're just cutting on an angle. And then the last two veggies that are going in here are some more Persian cucumbers. If you haven't noticed in the past year or two, I'm obsessed. We'll give those a really fine slice. And this is just gonna add like a nice bright crispness to the dish. It's crisp, crispness. First, that's really hard for me to say with the list, but is that even a real word? I feel like it is. All right, and then we're gonna add some sugar snap peas. We just gave these a quick rinse, and these are gonna give this pasta salad a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna scoop all these veggies right into our serving bowl. This is literally a rainbow of color. And then we're gonna drain our pasta just into a colander in the sink. All right, so this is done. I just rinsed it with a little bit of cold water to bring them down to temperature. And we are going to attempt to put everything in this rather, what I felt was a large bowl, but now feels quite small. Put it on in. And then just take a pair of tongs and we're gonna toss everything together without spilling on my counter. If I can get through this, I deserve an award. All right, now that that's half mixed, I'm gonna give this a quick stir. Let's make sure our dressing is evenly combined. This is just gonna get drizzled all around and then continue to toss. All right, and then the finishing touches on this, fresh herbs, obviously. So we've got cilantro, we've got basil, you could add mint, whatever floats your boat, I'm just gonna rip off a big chunk of cilantro and put it right on top. And then we'll pick off some basil leaves and those can go right on top also. And that is all she wrote. And I have to try it, obviously. That's so good. And it's so refreshing. Like you could serve this alongside any barbecue dish, pork, beef, chicken, fish, it's gonna be the perfect compliment. You can grab the full recipe on wetscobbycooking.com. And this is just a single serving for me. So see you maybe never again, I don't know. Bye.